This video is sponsored by Nikon, and I'm gonna be showing you the best video autofocus settings for Nikon cameras, and I'm gonna be doing this with the brand new Nikon Z6 III, which has fantastic autofocus. So if you are a wedding videographer, or a documentary filmmaker, or a YouTuber, or anyone that wants great video autofocus that's gonna track people and objects well, keep watching. Also, to save you time and help you keep track of all of these settings, I want you to know that I've created a free Nikon camera autofocus cheat sheet that you can download at the link down below completely for free, which will give you a nice reference page to all the settings in case you forget them so you can easily dial them into your camera. So please go download that. Like I said, it's free and it'll be really helpful to you. Now let's talk autofocus. To start, grab your Nikon camera. In my case, as I just said, I'm using the Z6 III. And let's talk about what is arguably the most important and and common thing that you're going to be filming that you're going to want to guarantee is in focus, and that is when you are filming people. If you are like me and you're filming weddings or corporate or commercial videos or documentaries, it doesn't matter. The vast majority of the time, all of the A role that you are filming in your video is going to be of people. So let's get your settings dialed in to film people and focus on them properly. And side note, if you are not going to be filming people, please do not skip this part of the video because a lot of these settings are going to also apply to filming other things than people as well aside from one menu tweak that we're gonna make later on. So please keep watching and don't skip ahead. First, open your menu settings, open the video recording menu and scroll down to focus mode. For this mode, you're going to want to choose AF-F full-time autofocus, which is the mode that Nikon has made specifically for filming videos. Next, scroll down to AF area mode, which is gonna give you a ton of options here for where you can have the camera focus. You've got a single point that you can move around, you have different wide areas, you have subject tracking, but the one that I use most often and that I recommend for filming most videos is going to be auto area autofocus, which is gonna use the full width and height of the sensor for focusing. And in my experience, it does a really great job whenever you pair it with the next feature, which we are about to talk about. Back to the menu now. Below focus mode and AF area mode, you're going to see that there's a set called AF slash MF subject detection options. And this is another really important setting. First, go into this setting and make sure that AF when subject not detected is on because you always want your autofocus to be working. And then for subject detection, by default, this is gonna be set to auto, but you're gonna have a lot of other options here, including people, animals, vehicles, and airplanes, which technically, I would argue that airplanes are vehicles, but I digress, if you're filming people and you know that you're filming people and you do not want the camera to possibly get distracted if say an animal wanders by or heaven forbid an airplane flies between you and the person speaking, which I think you will have a lot more issues than just the camera losing autofocus if that happens. Regardless, you are going to want to switch the subject detection from auto to people. Next, we have two more settings to dial in and these settings are in a completely different part of the menu. To access them, you're going to want to go to the pencil menu, scroll down to the magenta G for video and then go to G5, which is where you can select your autofocus speed. By default, this is set to zero, but as you can see, Nikon gives the ability to dramatically speed this up or slow it down, and in my experience, increasing this setting will, yes, make the camera autofocus faster, but it also results in a significantly more digital and electronic feeling autofocus that is almost too fast and jarring for the viewer. So to compensate, I recommend turning the autofocus speed down lower to negative two. Then, for when to apply, select always. This is going to give the autofocus a much more organic feel to it, and I find that whenever I'm moving around, especially whenever I have the camera on a gimbal, the autofocus feels a lot more smooth and natural, almost as if it was a human pulling the focus and not the camera. Lastly, go back to your menu and back to the pencil, back to G for video and select G6, which says AF tracking sensitivity. This setting determines how sticky the autofocus is going to be on the subject that the camera has chosen to focus on before it shifts to something else in the frame. Because you're ideally going to want the camera to stay focused on whatever you are filming, my recommendation is to turn this sensitivity a bit lower, down to five, because that will help keep the autofocus from wandering and help you make sure that things stay in focus. Congratulations, you have now dialed in all of your autofocus settings that you need if you're filming people, but what if you want to film something else, like an animal? or a vehicle, or an airplane? Well, that's really simple, because you're not gonna to want to change any of the settings that we've already dialed in, except for one of them. To change the autofocus so it prioritizes focusing on something other than people, all you have to do is go back to the video recording menu, scroll down to the same AF slash MF subject detection options, and then for subject detection, choose whether you are filming an animal, vehicle, or airplane. That's it. 
Now, we are not quite done yet, though, because we need to talk about another filming scenario. See, another area where your autofocus settings are really going to differ between photo or video is in the area of tracking autofocus. For a photo, the camera's always going to be freezing movement. So unless you're trying to do some sort of creative shot where you want to add motion blur by shaking the camera or something like that, 99% of the time when you're taking a photo, you're going to be trying to hold the camera as still as possible. Video, though, is different. Unless you're filming on a tripod or monopod, the odds are that you're going to want to introduce some sort of movement to your footage. This can be a subtle handheld camera shake, it can be a smooth parallax movement if you put the camera on a slider, or it could be really exaggerated movement if you put the camera on a gimbal and follow someone as you film them. In all of these situations, you're going to want the camera to properly track the subject that you're filming and to keep them in focus. And this is more complicated, especially if you're filming a subject that is moving while you are also moving. The autofocus is going to have to work harder to make sure that what you want to have in focus stays in focus. Thankfully, the Z6 III is excellent when it comes to this form of tracking autofocus, and it gives you settings to dial in and track the subject that you're filming. Here's the great news too. We have already dialed in 90% of the settings that we need for tracking autofocus. And all that you really need to do now is tell the camera that you want to track a person or object, and then tell the camera which person or object you want it to track. And it's really simple to do this. Simply go into the video recording menu again, go down to the AF area mode and change this from auto area AF to subject tracking AF, which is going to, as the name implies, track a subject. In addition, if you want to maximize the capabilities of this setting, go back to the video recording menu to those AF slash MF subject detection options and change your subject detection to auto, which means that the camera is going to choose whether it wants to focus on people or animals or vehicles or airplanes. And you are then going to help it a little bit by using this tracking autofocus mode. With those settings dialed in, now close your menu so you can see a preview that your camera is going to be filming. And whenever you do this, you're going to notice there's now a small white square that appears in the middle of the screen, as well as the text that says, okay, okay. Then to track your subject, all you have to do is move this small white square over the person or object or anything else that you're trying to film and press the center OK button on the back of the camera. Whenever you do this, one of the OKs on the screen is going to change to a flipping arrow and you're going to notice that the white box on the back of the screen is going to start to track whatever was inside that box. If it's a person's face, the camera is going to automatically recognize and focus on the face and the person's eyeball because it knows that's probably what you wanted it to focus on. Alternatively though, if you're filming an object the small white box is going to move around the screen as it tracks whatever you are filming. Once you want to stop tracking, all you have to do is press the OK button again to disable the tracking. And this tracking setting is really useful and it's going to be very helpful to you, especially if you're filming something moving and you need to keep it in focus. And there you have it. You have now learned the best video autofocus settings for your Nikon camera, and you are now prepared to use the full strength and capabilities of your camera to film amazing footage that is as sharp and crisp as it can be. Thanks so much for watching. You can check out the Nikon Z6 III at the link down in the video description, as well as the link to my Nikon autofocus settings cheat sheet, which is gonna be a great reminder to you. If you forget any of these settings, you can download the cheat sheet completely free at the link down below. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Thank you.